So you want to solve the Rubik's Cube as quick as you can to impress your mates. Well, this is how we're going to do it. Using this method, I have personally solved the Rubik's Cube in 2 minutes and 36 seconds. And, you know, with a bit of practice, we'll get you there too. Not good enough for the, the world elites because they solve multiple sides at the same time. But good enough to impress your mates, especially at the pub, maybe win a few drinks. Ta eh. Terminology that I'm going to use. Faces. We've got top face, bottom face, right face, left face, front face. Nice and easy. When I say front face, for example, I mean front face, rotate clockwise. When I say front face inverted, I mean front face anti-clockwise. Same for the right, so right, right inverted, done. First thing we gotta do, pick a face. We're gonna do the white one, just because it's got the Rubik's Cube on it. And you can see we've already got a bit of an L going here, but what we're actually after is to get the cross. The cross is the most important thing. So we need to line this one up with the green. The green's over here, so we're just gonna spin it around. And there we go, we've got this already in place. Well, oh, this one's already in place too. Okay, this one, you can see it's actually in the wrong spot here. It's the wrong way around. It's wrong way orientated. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to spin it all the way around to do the front face twice. So what we've got to do now is we're going to spin this up. We're going to do front, so it spins to this side. We're going to do top, left inverted, top inverted. So this has now put it into place, but it hasn't moved any of these out of the way. Nice and easy. All right, this one, same problem. So we're going to spin it all the way around. And then we're going to do front, top, left inverted, top inverted. Cross is now done. Corner pieces. That's the next part. So we need to find one that's in the right place. Let's get one of these on the bottom. So blue, orange, white. There's orange, there's blue. What we want to do is get it directly underneath the place where we want it to be. And then we're going to follow this algorithm. Nice and simple, it's four steps long. And it is right inverted, down inverted, shut up, right, down. And you just keep doing this over and over again until the piece is in the right place. So, right inverted, down inverted, right, down, right inverted, down inverted, right, down. It's now in the right place. Do this for every other corner piece. So, green, orange, white. Orange is here, green is there. So, and again, right inverted, down inverted, right, down, right inverted, down inverted, right, down, right inverted, down inverted, right, down. So now these, these actually, they're in the right place. They're just the wrong orientation. Here we go. Oh, sorry. They're actually in the wrong place. Never mind. So we'll just spin it down move it out of place and spin this side back up. And we've got it separated from this thing and now it's under the right the right spot. You can do it again. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down. Solid. This one, you spin around to directly under the last spot. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down. Nice. Done this face and we've done the first ring all the way around. Now we're gonna flip it upside down. So, we've got to solve these pieces now, so we can get the second ring. Nice and easy, we're going to pick pieces like this. So, what we're going to do is we're going to spin it around so it's in line with this colour here, and we actually need to go into this slot here. So here's the formula, you do top inverted, left inverted, top, left All right. that is left once this is done is actually line them up here what we're then going to do is do a top spin a front spin a top inverted spin and a front inverted spin you see this has actually put it in the right spot hasn't messed up the bottom hasn't changed anything else nice Find another one of these, red, needs to go to green. So this is actually the other way around. So we do away. So most importantly, it has to go away. It has to go away from the side that it wants to be on. 
goes away. We then do a right, top inverted, right inverted. Puts them in line with each other. And then you spin it, top inverted one more time, front inverted, right, front. It's now moved into place. These are all still in place. So red, move in line. It needs to go to here, so spin it away. Left, inverted, top, left, top, front, top inverted, front inverted, solid. One more, uh, we're looking for the green, orange, done. All right, spin it away, left inverted, top, left, top, Front, top inverted, front inverted. So, we've got two round each side. Bottom solved, top. So what we're looking to do now is get this going. So once we get all these in, we can start lining these pieces up here. So we need to get the cross. Now, as you can see, we've got absolutely nothing because everything is all on these sides here. So, nice and easy, we're going to do a front, right, top, right inverted, top inverted. There we go and a front inverted. And what this has done here, while leaving everything else the same, is it's given us this shape here. And we want to get it in this orientation. Okay? And then we're just going to repeat that same move over and over again. So, front, right, top, right inverted, top inverted, front inverted. So now, we've got a line directly across. And it will always go in this order. So you might get this one to start off with, that's fine. You might get the L to start off with. You might get across immediately. But if you get just the dot, you do the same thing over and over. So we get this line horizontally and the same thing. Front, right, top, right inverted, top inverted, front inverted. So we've got the cross. Now we need to line up these with the right ones. Here's where it gets interesting. It's either going to be done or you will have two. Two that are done already. And now it's important to find these two. So this one is done, but none of the others. Spin it around. None of them are done. Spin it around. Blue is done. None of the others. Spin it around. Green is done. Red is done. Okay, these are done. What we're going to do is we're going to spin it around. So we've got a done face here and a done face here. Okay, if you've got them opposite each other, you do the same thing just twice. Okay, and what we do is we go right, top, right inverted, top, right, top, top, right inverted, top. And what this does is it's now aligned all of them. So we've got the cross, we've got them all aligned, everything is still solved. So, to get these into the right places. That's what we gotta do. Preferably, you wanna find one that's already in the right place. Boom. The rest of them, all wrong. If none of them are in the right place, do the same thing until one is in the right place, then carry on following this. So, get the one in the right place in the bottom right corner. And here's what we're gonna do. It goes. Top, right, top inverted, left, top, right inverted, top inverted, left. And you carry this on until they align themselves. So it's still wrong. So, top, right, top inverted, left inverted, top, right inverted, 
top inverted, left. These are now solved. So you might get to the point where they're all not solved, but this is not a problem. You just go around and we go right back to the very first one we learned. The right inverted down, inverted right down. It's very important that we get this right. So if one of them is solved, you go so it's in this corner. You focus on this one. So what we're going to do is we need to do the formula to the full. That includes the bottom one. Because when it's in place, people tend to forget that they got to turn the bottom one. So here's what we do. And it'll look like you're messing it up, but it'll magically solve itself. So we do right inverted, down inverted, right, down. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down. You see it's now solved. Here's the key part. Instead of moving around, we're just going to rotate this face. Okay. And we carry on. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down. 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 Boom. Done. And that's it. Solved.